Hey, I'm Charting Man Dan. If you like this video, I encourage you to check out our website, thechartguys.com, home of technical analysis, learning, and education, where we broadcast live market coverage every morning, provide live chart consultation, and point out key levels on your favorite plays in our community chat room. Why not check out our free trial and join the best technical analysis community online? Looking at gold on the daily and weekly time frame, real quick, we just started a new Facebook community open to everybody. There's a link in the description. It's for sharing trade ideas, discussing technical analysis, and more. Check it out. So here is gold on the daily and weekly time frame. We've got a lower high being set. We had the high of 1280.70 and we hit a high of 1279. So looking like we might need some consolidation here. This MACD was very close to a bullish cross, but now it's very close to a bearish cross. Black line and red line are pretty parallel at this point. If we break this pattern of higher lows that we've seen four days in a row, that will also be some bearish indication. Low of today. 1260.110. We saw 1260 being tested multiple times as support. If that breaks, we'll be looking down at the 10 day moving average, which is currently 1245.43 and should be closer to 1250 with the open tomorrow. So, normal healthy consolidation anticipated. It's needed after that bullish break. And as we can see, this was all normal healthy consolidation and it led to that momentum to the upside. So, we'll see how much consolidation we get. Volume will be very, very telling. If we see an increase in bearish volume, it might be more of a dump than consolidation, but as of right now, it does not look to be the case. On the weekly time frame, three trading days left to go. We're seeing that lower high, upper Bollinger Band resistance of 1270.92, and a potential bearish reversal candlestick. It's an inverted hammer or gravestone doji currently forming. We'll see how the next three days shape up this candlestick. So that's what we're looking at for gold. Bulls are in control in the midterm trend, but in terms of the short term trend, might be tiring and need to see some consolidation. And look how many times the 10 day moving average support held right before we made that break to the higher highs. If you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I put them out daily. Website again, thechartguys.com. We would love to teach you technical analysis. We do so through live interactive webcam during trading educational videos, and a growing chat community of diverse individuals willing to share their knowledge. Come check it out for a free week trial. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.